Hey guys, just got back from an amazing Pokemon Go adventure. Went down to the Portland waterfront, absolutely crushed it. Okay, we've completed so many Pokemon in the Pokedex. It's incredibly exciting. Been grinding uh, quite hard of late. Uh, and we got, geez, I think probably 11, I think 11 new evolutions. So pretty excited about that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop a lucky egg and get started on that here shortly. I got the kid over here. She's going to just go ahead and rock out on two more tablets. Because uh, like I said in a previous video, run multiple devices with your same account in the same spot. Shouldn't be an issue with uh, getting banned because you're using just the same game, just multiple apps in the same location. So we're going to go ahead and utilize this, bang it out, and just get a ton of Pokemon evolutions. Goal today, 200,000. We want to get 200,000 experience uh, on one Evolve off of one Lucky Egg. So let's see if we can go ahead and pull that off. All right, so here we go. We are about to pop the Lucky Egg. Just getting my account set up. You almost ready, Lily? Yes. I'm All right, ready. perfect. Like, I so I've got two in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and show them to you so you can see that I've got two devices in front of me. You can see that she's got two devices in front of her. So pretty simple. Logged into just my account on all four devices. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and go to town here in a second. So okay, tell me let me get this set up. I'll let you know when in a second. Just chill, be chill, be chill. So pretty standard, uh, a lot of Pidgey evolutions, so just tons and tons of Pidgey candies. Um, I'll show you guys in a second how many Pidgey candies I have. Absolutely insane. Yeah, I think I've got like... Crazy. You've got 932. 932 Pidgey candies. And Radica candies, you have 817. 817 Rat candies. So pretty sick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to town. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is I am about Ooh, to pop the lucky awesome. egg. Are you ready? Yep. I have my buttons right over the wall. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Lucky egg is popped. My fingers. Let's go. So on the main one that go. I'm going to try to get on the screen. Go, please go. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do on the main one that I pop on the screen, I'm going to go ahead and we are actually going to do my Charmander. So I've got a ton of Charmanders. But I've got one that was a 73.3% uh, with the IV before they took that IV away. So we're going to go ahead and evolve that one up. Oh my god, this is so exciting. So here we go. This guy's going up. He's starting off. Oh, just, you got to love this evolution. It just looks so, so cool. Um, so 844. We're going to go ahead and take that all the way to the top. I'm Here so we go. For you. I'm so happy. Well, that's because I get out there and grind. You're going to grind next, dude. We're going to take you out. Some late night Pokemon finding sessions. So, yesterday, uh, woke up at 9 30 in the morning and I literally went all day, did not get home till nearly one. So, when I say we, we went hard, we definitely, definitely, definitely went hard. Charizard, oh, 1400. Not bad. You can see that there's some room um, here in his. Uh, ability it's gonna it's gonna be you know, only at like 80 percent of max um, but what's cool about him uh, is he's a 73.3 percent on his um, IV so he's super strong he's gonna do a great job for us now we're gonna go ahead and take this uh, squirtle 553 what do you guys think I think we can get this up to nearly 850 probably and then at the full evolution maybe 15 and change that's what I'm thinking. 15 and change when we're done, but I think this one will be uh, about 850. So let's see how this one turns out. Keep grinding, dude. Just skip to the next one. Skip to the next one. And keep on doing them at the same time. Okay. We'll do one then the other. It'll be faster. No, it's easy. Whoa, 875. A little bit higher than I thought. I thought it was going to be about 850. 875 is, is dialed. So. Now, the Squirtle was the toughest one. I did not get this one till the end of the night. It was incredibly frustrating. Um, I kept trying to find them, and I'd find one, and it would just despawn as I was getting to it, and incredibly frustrating. So I was thinking 15 and change, 1,500 right there. Got to go into the Pokedex first. Like I said, a lot of new evolutions here today, so I'm pretty excited. We started out with 126 today, I think, or 117. I wish I had taken a screenshot of that so I knew. 
14 and uh, 14 15 so not not quite as high as we would have hoped but definitely still he's gonna be super strong and you can see that he's got a lot of space as well it's only at like maybe 75 percent maybe 80 so we're gonna be able to dial him up as we find more but again he's an 82.2 percent um, wish we had a stronger second move don't love flash cannon but um, you know who knows we'll be out there grinding maybe we get another uh, one at a later point so I'm just gonna scroll through these and we're gonna find the other ones that I have to evolve let's see I'm not gonna do the Pidgeys I got the kid on the Pidgey she's doing the the Pidgey grind with us right now on two devices which is super dope and Rattata. don't forget about the Rattata. and she's doing the Rattatas let's see here. Oh, this is boring. all right so pretty excited about the Pikachu the Pikachu I did not get yesterday I had to go out this morning and get this one so we'll go ahead and take the Pikachu up uh, this is going to get us our Raichu. Oh my gosh. So excited. Uh, took so long to do this. Very frustrating. Just going out there. And yesterday I found three Pikachu and all of them were despawning as I got to them. So unfortunately it did not work out. Oh, that Raichu looks insane. It's kind of funny. He's barely bigger than the Pikachu, but that tail looks like it could definitely get you in a battle. So 1277. Wow. Oh, but only Thunder Punch. I kind of wish I had a better secondary. So we're going to keep scrolling down. Let's see what else we can find that we can do. Let's see here. we got a bunch of side ducks we can do, but we're not going to do that. This is what I'm pretty excited about. So uh, definitely was out. I only needed two uh, Growlithe for like two weeks, but I just couldn't find one. I was out with my wife. She found one. The kids got it. But I didn't get it because I was driving, and then we turned around to go back and get it, and it despawned. So, seven and a quarter. I think we can easily hit 1,500. Oop, jeez, push the wrong button. Almost dumped that thing. That would have been horrible. All right, so I'm thinking 1,500. What do you think, Lily? Seven and a quarter? What do you think he's going to go up to? I don't know. 1,600? It? It's a Growlithe. Um, to an Arcanine. Wait, what level is it? 725. Probably... Uh, maybe a thousand? Like 1,649. Oh my wow. god, and it's horrible. Man, Bite and Fire Blast is, is an awesome, awesome set for this guy. So, uh, definitely, definitely really excited about that. So, let's see. We've got enough to take our Poliwhirl all the way up, uh, or uh, Poliwag, I apologize, all the way up. And you can see this one's an 86.7. Uh, IV. I, I put those down before the IV calculator went away. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy all the way up. So 439, so maybe 800 for the the Poliwhirl. And then probably 1500 for the Poliwrath is kind of what I'm thinking. So let's see how we go. While I'm doing this, I'm doing the, the second device here. So going pretty hard on both devices. So 747. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's see here. So we're going to evolve it again. And like I said, I think we're going to hit 15, 1600. It could be a little less because he's kind of low on the scale. I did catch, and I'll show you guys here in a second. I caught a Polyrath this weekend. They had the bite, um, which for those of you who don't know, uh, it's a food event. And so they got a bunch of good food, and you go down there, food, drink, the whole deal. Um, so me and a few of my buddies are down there getting some food, getting some drink, having a great time. So, oh, wow. 1406 so a lot lower than I thought it would be um, but let's see what we get if we power it up one time so 35 points not bad um, definitely gonna power that guy up quite a bit um, I'm not gonna do it right now but it's definitely a lot of opportunity although he does have submission so I might just not worry about it this guy just showed up 1858 uh, poly wrath which was pretty sick and it even had ice punch I kind of like Ice Punch because I like the, the variation because it's got a ground and an ice. Um, kind of good, but not amazing. I, I'd much rather have something else. The Abra we do not have yet. Um, a little disappointed with that one. It's it's Those guys are just tough. So for those of you out there who've gotten the the Alakazam, great job. Like It's, it's, it's tough when they just run away right away. Uh, the Machop, again, it's another one. I'm, I'm grinding, but I'm just, I'm not there yet. It's that one's going to be a grind for sure, um, but we do have enough to do the bell sprout. So I'm going to focus in on this 86.7. You can see that it's quite a bit lower than this uh, 741 CP bell sprout that we have, but because it's an 86.7, 
Um, I just feel like it's really going to be a great fighter. So we're going to go ahead and evolve this one all the way up um, and just hope that it keeps uh, a really solid skill set. So I really like the Victory Bell. I think it's a great fighting Pokemon, um, especially when you need, you know, a grass type uh, against water. Amazing, uh, super strong, pretty fast, pretty fast attacks for sure. So pretty excited about getting myself my second Victory Bell. Um, it's not a new one, but it is a super, super strong one. And up here in Portland, Oregon, uh, we do get quite a few of these Pokemon uh, out and around. For some reason, my house, I'm telling you, every day, five Pokemon spawn, which I'll show you uh, once we get near the end of the video, we'll be able to jump on there and see that. So pretty excited about that. So right now, I'm just spawn, uh, evolving Weedles, just trying to, again, maximize uh, the amount that we can get from this account. So, oh, that's sick. 1418 on the Victory Bell kept Razor Leaf and Solar Beam, which is a killer set. 120 damage on that Solar Beam. So pretty sick. Best part, still have 80 Bell Sprout candy, so I'm well on my way uh, to taking another one of those big Bell Sprouts all the way up. Oh, this is another one. Geodude. So pumped for Geodude. Been grinding away. There used to be a Geodude spawn in Salem, which is about an hour south uh, of Portland, but I kept meaning to go down there, meaning to go down there, and then the shift happened where all the, the dedicated spawns shift. Incredibly frustrating because you're like, oh, I'll go in a few weeks, I'll go in a few weeks. A few weeks ran out. So Geodude, we're going to take him all the way up. Um, it's going to be sick. It's going to be really interesting to see how big of a Golem we can get. Now, this is two new Evolves for me because I've never had a Graveler or a Golem. So um, I kind of fell into what a lot of the other YouTubers did, which is just make sure you get the whole 125 because once you have the 125, take your biggest one at that point all the way up. I changed just a little bit. I'm going with the one with the best IV. So now up to 787. Pretty good. Pretty good Graveler. So Lily, 787. We're going to take it all the way up one more time. What do you think? How big? I'm thinking 1,500. What do you think? More or less? Maybe, um, maybe, wait, 1,500? I'm saying 1,500. Do you think it'll be more than 1,500 or less? I, I just heard a Pokemon show up. You got to say it quick. You're running out of time. Maybe 1,500. Just around there. But more or less. Oh, you agree? Okay, yeah, cool. So she agrees. She thinks it'll be close. So we'll see. Pretty close. God, Gollum looks pretty cool. Oh, only twelve seventy-seven. That's horrible. That, that seems low. Doesn't matter, right? Another check mark in the in the Pokedex. So that's awesome, and it is an eighty percent, which is awesome. Um, we will be able to go ahead. I'm going to do one power up just so we can kind of see what what kind of thirty-two. So thirty-two CP every time you power it up. Um, ancient power, not an amazing attack. Um, would have preferred something different, but either way, he's a good fighting Pokemon at 80%. So, pretty happy with that. Another one off the list, and here we go. So, you can see here with the Ponytas, I am pretty close to being able to get another Rapidash. I already have one, which is pretty cool, but this 991 Ponyta really wants to be a ginormous uh, Rapidash. So, pretty pumped about that. Let's see, Slowpokes. I, I can pop out all the Slowpokes, Slowbros you ever wanted, like... We, we get so many slow pokes at the waterfront up here in Portland, it's, it's just insane. So, the Portland waterfront just shifted to a Magnemite spawn. So, if anybody needs Magnemites or Magnetons, call me. Because up here in Portland, we got them. There's no problem. I can take you down there and show you. But, uh, what we're going to do, this one's an 84.4%. That's the only reason I'm targeting it for the evolution. I've never evolved one. Super excited. Uh, definitely another check mark out of the Pokedex. Like I said, should hit about 11 of these today. So, Pretty, pretty cool. Great day. Definitely, definitely grinded hard uh, this week. So, pretty, pretty excited about this. Again, this one's not going to be very big, but it, it definitely gets what we need to get, which is another one. Oh, you can see Farfetch there. That was pretty cool. Farfetch popped up. Yeah, not a great attack set, but uh, still happy to get one out of the Pokedex or into the Pokedex. And you can see that it definitely uh, upgraded. Now, Seal, uh, down in Salem, there's a dedicated Seal uh, spot, which is pretty exciting. So we'll go ahead and get our first Dugong. It's a 616 Seal. Lily, I'm guessing 1,200, more or less for the Dugong. Wait, what? What level? 616. Hmm. I think it'll be less. Less? Yeah, we haven't been running very good. She's probably no. right. Yeah, 
You have no idea. But hopefully it's more. Hopefully she's wrong, right? We're rooting against her on this one, unfortunately. Love the kid. Definitely rooting against her, so. Oh, 12.04. I was pretty close. And it's more, so you were wrong by oh four. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But very close. Um, good guess by me. Let's see here. Oh, we're so close on. Oh, no, we do have a shelter. Oh, awesome. All right, so we're targeting this 82.2%. Um, again, that's the IV. Uh, which that's a pretty good IV, so oop, push the wrong button. Let's go ahead and evolve that. First cloister, 448, Lily. I think the cloister will be 950, more or less. Um, wait, wait. It's 400 and change. I think it's going to be 950. Um, yeah, I agree with you. Okay, she thinks it's going to be the same, so we'll see how close to 950 it is. It's pretty awesome, though. Another one in the Pokedex. Um, I can't remember how many we're up to there, but we definitely, I mean, we've got a lot going in the Pokedex. 1,138. Wow, it's so much more. It's an ice Pokemon. Don't love Ice Wind. I never like it when there's five of them because it takes so long uh, to use that secondary attack when you are attacking a gym. Um, so I prefer, like, the, the longer ones. It's just one or maybe two. Um, but either way, it's another one in the Pokedex. Very, very pumped with that. Um, now, this is another exciting one. Gastly's. Man, I don't know about you guys, but find a little more Gastly's at night, but man, to like run around town and find them is such a pain. So um, as you can see here, this is an 84%. I have no idea what the Haunter is, but he's only a 249 CP. So I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and, and turn him into candy at some point. Um, right now, I just kind of kept him because I like him. I think Haunter looks cool, um, but we'll go ahead and take this Gastly all the way up because it's an 84.4% uh, IV again, meaning... Great attack, great stamina, great defense. Um, overall, it's only missing, whatever, 15.6%, uh, which means it's probably three, uh, give or take, off of what would be considered perfect. So here's our Ghastly. 763 Ghastly. All right, Lily, we're taking it to the top. It's a 763 Ghastly. What do you think it'll be for a Haunter? I'm thinking 1,500. Wait, what do you is think it again? Oh, I apologize. It's a Haunter. <laughs> what do you think it's going to be for a Gengar? It's 763. I think I think it's going to be 1500. More or less than 1500. 763 is what you said? Correct. And it's going to go up to 1500. Do you think it'll be more than 1500 or less? Um You guys can see by the time we got about 14 minutes like left. Less. less than 15? Like, okay. Less is fine. Okay. Like yeah, you don't have to give me a specific guess, but I like it. Oh, you were more right than me. Yes. Ah, 1156. That's a little disappointing, to be honest. All right, well, let's power it up one time, see what it'll do power up. I Again, 84.4% right. IV. So it's a very strong Pokemon. Dark Pulse, again, it's a it's three instead of two. I prefer two or one um, for the secondary attack. Um, either way, not bad, very solid Pokemon, and seriously happy to take another one off the list. So let's see what else we got. Uh, Onyx does an upgrade. Oh, Voltorb. This was another one I had to drive out. Uh, we got the Port, or I guess it's the Oregon Zoo, um, and up there, there's Voltorbs everywhere. But you got to drive all the way out there. You got to walk up. It's a lot of hiking, but okay, um, you can definitely I can't get them. So any more what do I now? Go, go to the Pidgeys and just do Pidgeys from the bottom. So anyway, she's still grinding along, um, so we're going to see a huge, huge, huge pop. Don't close either of your screens until I tell you it's okay, because I'm going to close this one first and see how many uh, points that we end up getting. But anyway, so uh, upgrading the Voltorb, again, another one off the Poke list. So good. Love that. I'm getting really close to having a full Pokedex. Uh, even working a little deal with a friend of mine in Australia, and my sister is going to Europe, so... Fingers crossed that she'll try to find me a Mr. Mime. So the Electro, Thank only 916, not a big deal. We'll power it up one time just to see what it does. So 23, not bad CP for the upper upgrade on the Electrode. Um, again, really, this one, I don't know how good of a fighter it is, but very, very happy to get that off of, off of the list. So this one I'm going to do for fun. Um, I wasn't really going to do a whole lot of these, but it seems like this one just jumps up on its CP quite a bit. Um, I'd really like to get Solar Beam, so we'll see if that comes out. Uh, we'll go ahead and evolve this. The reason, just so you guys know, if anybody's asking, hey, why don't you power them up before 
you you uh, evolve them. The reason why is if they don't have a, a, an attack set that I like, probably going to turn them into candy or just throw them in gyms or just. I mean, I don't really like them if they if they don't have a great attack set because I'm out there. I get a lot of Pokemon. It's what my friends like to do. My kids. I got two kids. They love to go out and catch Pokemon. Uh, gives us an excuse to get out of the house, go see Portland. Portland's a wonderful city. We go get some ice cream, um, some great food. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and evolve this one. It, Lily, this is going to be a big one, man. It's 779. I think it's going to hit 1600. Do you think more or less? I think I agree with you. Okay. Down there. About 1600. Okay, she agrees. Let's see how we do. But again, the, the executor, if you guys don't know, um, is... The executor gets big. Execute turns into a huge executor. Oh, I um, full these level guys execute. are are beasts for sure. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, it's pretty amazing. Let's see where we go. Definitely. Wow, Lily, twenty one hundred and twenty two. I'm telling you guys, it so blows bad. me away. Oh, it's got seed bomb. See, <laughs> now if this thing had uh, the good attack, which is solar beam for this guy, I'd be super pumped. But I'm not. I don't even really like. I'm not going to use it. Seed bomb's not horrible, but it's really not great. So maybe I'll put him in a couple gyms, have him hold the gym for me. But I mean, you can see he's my strongest one now. But uh, when you look at, I named him Dirt Dirt. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. They just look interesting. Uh, solar beam is worth 120. So what I'll do is attack, attack, attack. Solar beam comes up. I I almost melt the whole thing, um, which is pretty pretty insane. Um, this was another one. Kubone. Oh man. If you guys know anything about Kubone, they're they're a little tough to find. I mean, uh, definitely up in my area they're around, but they're not easy to find. So getting this Marowak uh, off of the off of the Pokedex <laughs> list is going to be dope. It's a 556. I'm thinking it's only going to be about a 900. Wait, you think more or less, Lil? The Cubone. Cubone's turning into a Marowak. 556, more or less than 900. I think I agree with you. Okay, pretty close to 900. She yeah. agrees. Yeah. I wish she played the game right. It's supposed to be more or less. Okay, we can see who wins, see who gets the most right. I agree with you. 922. So, oh pretty pretty spot on. You can see he's got Bone Club. Not Again, it's a fun attack. I love the name of the attack, but I'm not sure how pumped I am to have it. Um, we'll power him up one time just so you guys can kind of see. Yeah, 23 CP for a power up. Again, 88.9. So, really, really strong attack. Probably missing only two um, to have full points. So, I didn't really break this down, but the attack. Quite a bit of Spiro candy as well. I got enough to do seven, um, which is pretty sick. Yeah, this Sea King's going to be pretty beastly. I really want to get down to the exciting ones. We got about eight minutes left, so I'm gonna to have to scroll down a little faster. Let's see. We got a star U. We're gonna bump that up to a star me. Again, this one's a 77.8, the IV. So I was basically looking at 70% or better. Um, I don't want any D's, just looking for C's. Just kidding. Um, but a big fan of the strong ones. I really like the IV calculator. I was using the one that actually pulled it out of the system. A little worried that maybe I might get a ban for that. I hope not. Because really, I just wanted to see, you know, what's what's my hit power? What's my defense power? What is it looking like? Wow, 1443 for my Starmies. Pretty strong. Psybeam, a little interesting. I prefer water, water with this particular Pokemon. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? So we'll go ahead and go. Scythers, get a lot of those where I live. They just show up in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a Jinx spawn. It rotated. Um, you can see that th that got Electro Buzz. There was Electro Buzz spawn that we've got here in town. Magmar, I basically get every bull I can. If you're from the U.S., get them. Your friends out of the out of the uh, country will definitely want one. I got a friend in Australia, and I'm going to get him one. So figuring out a little deal with him so he can hopefully get me a Kangaskhan this weekend. So we'll see if that works out. So right here you can see a Magikarp. So sick. 194, the highest one I've ever seen. I saw a guy have a 214 on YouTube the other day, but highest one I personally have ever seen. So... Pretty pumped. We're going to go ahead and get our second Gyarados. Earned both what? Gyaradoses. Definitely walking the waterfront a lot to get uh, the carp needed because I'm telling you, it is it is a hoof down there. You're talking like maybe two and a half, three miles either side, and we're just doing laps over bridges. Laps, 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 and it's a lot of fun. But this one should be 2,100. Oh, 2,034. So 
really really strong you can see that it's almost capped out so very happy with that 142 hit points uh love dragon pulse you really you know you can't complain too much about that and bites pretty fast so um very happy with that one but really just kind of great to have my second gyrados um you can see that they're both huge i mean a 234 uh and a or 2034 and a 2016 I'm going to upgrade this guy. Even though he's a 161, I'm going to upgrade him because you can see he's an 88.9 IV. Um, again, almost a perfect Pokemon, um, which is pretty cool. I do have one perfect one. You can see right here that, call him my pride and joy. Uh, that is my only 100% IV taken from the sy system so you could see that it was 100% correct. So this is our final upgrade for the night. That's, that's just really important. The Dratini is going all the way up to the Dragonite. Um, it's taken a long time. I've probably hatched three or four of these things. I walk a lot. I'll show you guys how far I walk uh, here in a second. Um, very, very excited. Very excited. So. Okay, we'll skip on to do the rats as much as you can. Oh, um, I, don't, I, can't ha I don't have any more candies. For rats? Yeah, for rats. Okay, you've done a great job then. So here we go. Take this thing all the way up. Um, dig through, see if there's anything else you can upgrade. You might be able to upgrade a, um, a Goldeen, I think. I'll upgrade the Goldeen. So let's see where this guy goes. It's a 600 Dratini. I have a feeling this guy's going to be huge Wait, when we get up to a Dragonite. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm a level 27. I kind of forgot to mention that. Arbok? Yeah, do it. Okay, I'll just upgrade anything you see, babe. You don't have to really ask. Okay, okay. just upgrade it. There's nothing I'm really saving except for the executes. Don't mess with those because... The next upgrade's coming out, so I'm not really messing with the executes and the EVs. So, 1250 Dragonair. 1250. Wait. That is awesome. So, 1250. I think it's going to be a 2100 Dragonite. Bigger or smaller? Wait, Dragonite? Oh my gosh. Bigger or smaller? Um, wait, 21 what? Wait. Now, I'm going to take uh, on this other oh, one no screen way. that you can't see. I've got an 86.7% Sand Shrew. So I'm going to upgrade that to a oh. Sand Slash again. 86.7, super strong. If he's got a good nice. skill set, um, I'll definitely use him as a nice little secondary attack Pokemon. So Dragonite going in the Pokedex. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Oh, look at those. You saw the Great Birds. You saw the Mewtwo. Um, dude. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, my gosh. What? That is so sick. Oh, my God. Dragonite. 2533. This is Definitely my biggest Pokemon. Let's power him up one time. So oh my gosh. What? Yeah, he he is basically Gold tapped face. out. That is oh, a another, big, uh, big boy. Holy, holy, holy. Well, I'm I'm super excited about that. I've been wanting a Dragonite. Obviously, I think most of us uh, would love to get a Dragonite just because it, it is such a cool Pokemon. Um, but let's see. This is the other thing. I caught an Aerodactyl last night. Um, just found two of them last night. I was driving around. The first one, I got I got a lock on it. Started going at it. Thing disappeared. Very disappointing. Um, but then the second one I found, literally got there with seven seconds left. Clicked on it, missed it. Clicked it as fast as I could the second time, and it showed into my account. So, um, yeah, so crazy. So, and on this side, I just got a wiggly tough. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just, I like those. I think they're funny. Oh, we forgot to upgrade Zubats, dude. We got Zubats. I'll do the two Zubats real quick. Anyway, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys uh, my top Pokemon now so we can kind of see. And then I'll show you guys a little bit about my information uh, pertaining to, like, how much I've walked and my other badges and stuff so that you guys can see it. So you can see here, Dragonite definitely taken over number one. Uh, a very strong number two with that Execute. Uh, executor that we did and then rounding out my top six are those two gyroidoses so you can see the executors they just man they just mash up real fast so i'm going to close this uh here in oh, a second it's, over. it's actually over it is over okay i'm going to close that see how we did oh my god <gasps> your level 20 wow i got thirty-eight thousand on this one how much did your show that you got on this one hold on one second guys i'll be right back oh, you're level so i just popped up to level 28 which is dope wow she got she got 54,000 on hers over there. I got 38,000 on this one. She wasn't looking at the other one, so I'm not sure what she got on the other one. Wait, but see. we'll go ahead and close this one out. So 54, 38. Oh, my God. Plus 49,000? Oh, my gosh. 
Look we, at all that. We've been. Oh, I wish I had done the math better on this, guys, but we we just crushed it. I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna pull up a calculator here. So we got gosh. um 48 gosh. plus gosh. 59 plus 38. I I think we hit it. Yeah. I think we hit nearly 200. Thousand XP uh, between these four devices, so that was uh, that was pretty insane. I mean, yeah, I, I should have done a better job with the video of catching where I was at before, but I mean, I'm a full level 28, and I'm like, you know, 20, 15, 20 percent into level eight, so that's it's pretty insane. You remember what I said about the Pokemon spawning? I mean, I got I got four Pokemon spawned at my house. It's it's insane. I mean, I have friends can't get a Pokemon show up to their house. Me, I just get, you know, hey, four, four Pokemon show up and, and they're ready to go. They're ready to just get in my Pokeball so I can, oh, sneaky little guy. All right, guys, so we're just going to close out by showing you real quick where we're at. So you can see, obviously made level 28, which is awesome. I've got 255 kilometers under my belt. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't always bought the egg incubator so i only have 232 eggs i've uh, been buying more of them it's kind of sad but that's the one area they get me i'm going out i'm trying to take more gyms to offset that but you can see that man just a, a lot of these are gold and the ones that aren't i'm definitely going to work on because the one thing i enjoy about the game is there's there's just a ton to do and the game has got a lot of places to go so you, you never know what they end up uh, adding to this game because they've got you know seven generations uh, at this point and there are a lot a lot a lot of Pokemon to go through so so that's that and then I'll show you guys the Pokedex uh, you can see we've caught 130 we've seen 131 so there's one sneaky guy who got away from us which is that Lickitung so almost getting it done pretty excited about where we're going with this definitely going to focus on uh, Kabuto and Ammonite here uh, along with really trying to get that Rhyhorn finish up to the Rhydon. Um, Got to find a few more mucks. Uh, apologize, Grimer, so we can get a muck. But getting close, really having a great time with it. Hope you guys are as well. Uh, do this for me. If you like the video, put a like. Uh, and please, down in the comments, take, take a second. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me where you're at with your Pokemon and your Pokedex. How full are you? Uh, and what are you going to do? to find those ones that are in other countries. Like I said, I'm reaching out to a friend of mine in Australia. My sister's going to Europe. Uh, I gotta figure out a way to get that one uh, in Asia. I'm just curious if anybody else has thought about ways to do that as well. Um, either way, I appreciate you guys taking the time to take, uh, see the video and I hope you guys have a great day. Happy hunting.